today uh, I would like to uh, with you discuss with you about uh, topics uh, entrepreneurship and innovation. Uh, I hope that we can uh, learn uh, small things about this issue, particularly in the context of uh, Indonesia. So, can we start? Yes. So, uh, before we talking about the concept or the uh, dynamic of innovation and of uh, entrepreneurship in Indonesia, I would like to uh, introduce myself. My name is uh, Boyke. I graduated from uh, Norway uh, last February, I guess, so just a few months ago. Uh, my PhD is on international management. My research is on entrepreneurship and that industry. Now I am working for the Department of Management and we uh, do some research on the field of entrepreneurship and creative industry. So if you are interested in this issue, so please come into the uh, main building uh, on the third floor uh, so we can discuss uh, how we can contribute for the Entrepreneurship is particularly in uh, Indonesia, also this Asia. <coughs> and then uh, I have also uh, entrepreneurial uh, activities. I run a business, a family business with my, my wife. Uh, I run a hospital, a small hospital in the rural area of Yogyakarta, uh, Gunung Kidul. Is there anyone uh, visit Gunung Kidul? So, uh, about one and a half hours uh, from uh, the city uh, to the south of uh, Jakarta. So the hospital is particularly served for the poor people. We have uh, approximately 15 uh, beds for the who suffer to access uh, health uh, facility uh, because the, the <coughs> distance of the area, also in the remote area. And then I also have a professional association. Uh, notice I appointed to be a member of Board of Commissioner and the State of Enterprise in, in Surabaya, uh, in East Java, uh, called uh, PT Bima Busma, Bima Busma Indra. This is a state of enterprise producing uh, industrial equipment. Machine for train, machine for vessels, and some of uh, machine for uh, industrial things. So that's what I uh, do now, and I hope that it will give some <coughs> benefit for discussing in this class. So, if we talk about entrepreneurship and innovation, Uh, we will uh, have a uh, at, uh, until lunch. We, we have Baima. The time is until lunch. Okay. So we will uh, uh, have a short discussion about the concept first, and then probably will uh, show you, uh, particularly foreigners, about the uh, entrepreneurial uh, things in Indonesia. And the last part of the uh, session is how we can try to simulate the uh, innovativeness of a uh, student here to solve uh, some uh, social problem. So, um, let me uh, go to uh, type in Google uh, to write a keyword of entrepreneurship or innovation, you will probably find this uh, result. So, more than uh, 70 to uh, five uh, million mention about uh, entrepreneur and more than seven points uh, sorry two point seven billion mention about innovation in the event and then the uh, figure is interesting because the number of uh, people discussing about the this issue is increasing and if you uh, see the figures here the the terminology of the concept of innovation is uh, already discussed before 19. 
century. And then the uh, emergence of entrepreneurship as a conceptual uh, things is starting uh, discussion in uh, early of 1950, particularly from uh, <coughs> professional from your country, I guess, Schumpeter, uh, by his seminal books, uh, his seminal paper about uh, creative destruction. So, and we uh, see about the conceptualization of the two. Uh, entrepreneurship and innovation uh, you know that from the figure is uh, increasing uh, uh, the, uh, it uh, means that um, people uh, talk a lot about this thing in business and uh, in uh, business school and also there is an intersection between two concepts if we talk about innovation uh, people uh, have uh, then have the uh, discussion about how uh, people create something and how then uh, people can uh, gain something from the uh, activities. So from the figure, we uh, know that this issue is uh, uh, become a hot topic on the school of business. Many organizations put innovation or put entrepreneurship on their mission statement. Oh, some uh, government also start to uh, put innovation on how they can serve people uh, in the society. So this is an interesting uh, keyword uh, for, for us, particularly business school. If we, we talk about uh, the curriculum, some of the uh, courses uh, mention about entrepreneurship and innovation also. So this is the importance of uh, the concept in terms of uh, academic yeah, and the uh, government and how people uh, talk uh, every day. And the question is, what is entrepreneur and what is innovation? Is there any difference? Is there any uh, relation between the uh, two concepts? Anyone want to start a, a discussion? Have an idea? Yes, sir? We don't have to have an innovation to be an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. And a entrepreneur is someone who has an idea Yes, that's great, Sarah. Anyone? The problem is a mindset. Yes. But still, in order to be successful, you have to do something differently from all the others. Okay. Because if you do the same thing, you won't be that successful. It's. Uh, do you think that it's innovation? You differ. For example. Yeah. For example. Okay. Great. Just another approach. Mm -hmm. Yes. Philip. You have to be able to take many risks as uh, failing as a startup. Take a risk. Putri. Oh, Jessica. <laughs> Putri, be a good team. Sarah, Jessica. Jessica, please. Uh, you are taking risk and you can see opportunities in the market and then take uh, sort of advantage of it and end up Okay, see opportunities and uh, taking an action to uh, exploit the opportunities. Great, great. From the statement? Sandra, do you have any things that you come in your mind about entrepreneurship innovation? Okay. <laughs> you need a breakfast, I guess. <laughs> uh, sorry? Uh, Fania, yeah, do you have any idea? Innovation is from creativity, and entrepreneurship is applying the innovation to the ideas in the world. Innovation is about creativity. And the policy is about? Okay. So what is the difference? Uh, what comes first? In the middle first? Or to be a first? If, if we want to uh, uh, take a game of uh, something, uh, should we have uh, creativity first? Also, we have an uh, entrepreneurial attribute first. Oh, it comes together. <coughs> yes. I think uh, entrepreneurship is more important because, uh, like what Sam said, it's, it's like a form of a drive, a spirit. Mm -hmm. So if you want to do it, then you can do it. 
So we should prepare the entrepreneurial things before we uh, make the kind of uh, innovation, creativity as a this. I think it comes both hand in hand, because if you're in, if you have an entrepreneurial approach, then you're innovative as well. Okay. So the level is similar? Yeah. And the people uh, bring, and the people thrive, and the people muscle also? Okay, great. Is there any different idea? <coughs> yes. Um, was the question what kind of characteristics it takes? <coughs> mm -hmm. Because I think you have to be brave because it, it, it often comes with also with failure or you have to take risks mm -hmm. due to uh, start your business, for example, mm -hmm. or like to be brave enough, enough to put your idea out because maybe a lot of people won't like it or it won't be successful but you just have to take the first step in order to succeed. Okay, so it also be brave, so be uh, have a risk taking ability. Okay. <coughs> So if we took a definition from uh, some academia, they uh, put a keyword of, of what entrepreneur is and what innovation is. And uh, <coughs> it's true that uh, entrepreneurship is about uh, taking a risk. Because uh, people uh, do something new, uh, being different with others, uh, probably uh, open a new uh, market, set up a new business. So it means people should have a, a eagerness to take something different, to take something uh, that probably have a possibility of failure, possibility of uh, facing difficulties, etc. Risk taking, yes, that's one uh, key point of, of what entrepreneurship uh, are. And what entrepreneurial uh, orientation uh, is. And the second one is, yes, that's right, about a business opportunity. Even though and, uh, some of academia uh, also thought that this is not only about business, but the emergence of uh, the concept to start on from the uh, business. <coughs> and how uh, uh, you better illustrate about uh, technological innovation to create new product or services that can uh, then uh, produce a profit for, for the company. So this is uh, about uh, opportunity, business opportunity. But this is not only limited to uh, of, uh, people having a lot of idea, a lot of uh, brilliant idea about uh, business opportunity, but also eagerness, intention <coughs> to implement the business idea. So, it starts from the cognition, but also from the affection of uh, people and how we have uh, uh, ability to use all of the resources that uh, they uh, have to make it uh, real, to make it uh, uh, to the market, create the product, etc. And then entrepreneurship is also about. Uh, Value something that valuable. So if you 
buy the steaks, cup of coffee, what kind of value do you intend to get? It's about the value of uh, being a uh, uh, sub uh, It's not a uh, first thing, probably. It's a value about, yes, getting something in this kind of uh, uh, modernity, because we have a different thing of uh, serving this uh, cup. Oh, we probably see another value in this. They, we learn a lot about what value is. It's sometimes physical value, probably social value. If you wear uh, clothes using some branding, probably it's not only to protect our uh, body from uh, uh, the sun, from the cold, but we intend to show that we have a, a social level, some uh, level of uh, social uh, in the society. So, a value is uh, the objective of what entrepreneur uh, do. Creating value to, to the audience, to the uh, people, to the uh, customer. So, uh, if you uh, talk about entrepreneurship, then uh, we uh, talk about business opportunity, we talk about uh, business idea, we talk about value that uh, can uh, uh, serve the uh, customer in uh, words and needs and also <coughs> his history in 2017 uh, uh, talk about risk risk not only about financial risk risk also related to physical risk social risk sometimes also emotional risk they uh, have a lot of stress in managing a business etc so um, there is a characteristic of people that uh, can be uh, uh, categorized as having a high entrepreneurial orientation because they have a risk taking behavior and then uh, they have uh, innovativeness and they have a productivity. So that's uh, what uh, academia discuss about entrepreneurship. And what about innovation? Innovation is about the creation of something. The process of uh, what uh, you would say about uh, uh, different, be different, something new. And then innovation is uh, an application of uh, idea, an application of uh, the process that people can uh, do better, uh, people can serve better, people can make uh, something uh, better. So, the discussion about uh, innovation is uh, not only uh, limited to the uh, business, but uh, also uh, can be used in another sector, uh, of, uh, the social sector, the governmental sector, how people can make a change. Because the uh, key point of innovation is about change. Change from one uh, point, one month and to the other point, change from brand uh, condition to the uh, better condition. So, uh, that's innovation talk about. To do that, we should uh, not, uh, have a kind of attribute about how do we, we uh, utilize knowledge, how we utilize data, etc. And uh, we, we can uh, <coughs> conclude from the discussion about a conceptualization of uh, Innovation is how people think about value creation. So if you uh, relate to concept between entrepreneurship and uh, innovation, the entrepreneurship is about the uh, intention, the motivation, the motive of the individual or even organization. We, uh, we know about intrapreneurship. Intrapreneurship is the entrepreneurial attribute that uh, organization or departmental level or even bigger social level uh, have uh, characteristic of risk taking, characteristic of innovativeness, characteristic of practiceness. Uh, so the level of analysis is not only individual. So entrepreneurship is about uh, eagerness, entrepreneurship is about the motivation to, to deliver uh, Things. And innovation is the process of uh, doing the things. So I think uh, we can uh, now uh, understand that this 
term is uh, different but closely related. If you do an innovation, we need an attribute of proactiveness. We need an attribute of uh, creativity. We need an attribute of risk taking to implement uh, the idea. So, uh, if you uh, uh, take a course of entrepreneurship or talk of uh, innovation, sometimes this concept is used in the journey. And then, uh, as I said before, that uh, the uh, entrepreneurship term uh, came first in 1964. Uh, the concept about uh, creative destruction and monopoly profit from a uh, uh, This is talk talking about how technological innovation can uh, create uh, new things, new products or services that people want to buy, and then uh, they have a monopoly profit because they have a technological advantage, uh, having a abnormal return in terms of the economy, and then after that, people will see. Uh, people will try to imitate uh, the things and uh, some other uh, organization, some other uh, uh, in invention uh, come in and then uh, change the rule of the game of uh, the business. So creative distraction meaning that uh, creativity, innovation used to break out the rules of uh, the way people uh, do business. So when uh, we uh, uh, come to uh, transportation uh, industry, there are many uh, uh, destructive uh, uh, activities or destructive uh, uh, things that people uh, make. Nowadays, the creative destruction uh, uh, discussed in uh, the new term like uh, disruptive. That's the digital. But uh, the term is uh, coming in uh, 1946. Uh, so, uh, innovation is driven by entrepreneurship. Uh, the point is, and uh, entrepreneurs, uh, entrepreneurship is a mixture of vision. Entrepreneurs always have vision uh, of what they uh, want to do uh, and the uh, purpose of uh, the uh, action, and have a passion. Enthusiasm. So enthusiasm, patient can make an uh, individual uh, facing difficulties, managing uh, issue of a failure. Because we have enthusiasm, we have a patient that we can make it uh, easier. And also hard work. There is no uh, formula for uh, success for entrepreneur uh, related to hard work. So, to sum up, the figure uh, probably is uh, a simple uh, figure that can, can make a conclusion about discussion about entrepreneurship, innovation. Entrepreneurship is about the antecedent of the process of innovation, of the process of uh, creative activities. And the uh, output is failure for the stakeholder, finally for the uh, people. It's not only a come in the uh, uh, of, uh, things of money, but also probably come from uh, the things like uh, social welfare, uh, probably uh, failure of uh, solving uh, problem of uh, government, etc. So. Is there any uh, things to uh, ask or something to discuss about uh, the concept before we move forward? It's quite clear. Okay. So, does innovation matter? Why we need innovation? Yes. To change something. To change something? Yes, innovation is talking about change. It's a sign of progress. Ah, oh, great. Sign of progress. <laughs> okay. Yes. And the competitor in business, we, we compete with each other, so innovation can make us uh, in the front position. Sometimes innovation means giving people um, something that they don't even know they need it. So, after that, after you give it to them, they know they need to have like cars and people didn't even realize they needed to give them something. Okay, good. Yes, praise the 
society to another level to bring it further. Mm -hmm. So we, we don't live in caves anymore, but we have like decent skyscrapers. Mm -hmm. To be a sustainable business. Ah, interesting. To be a sustainable business. You should uh, uh, change uh, everybody. Right? Yes. Yes. Solve problem. Increase efficiency. Increase efficiency. Uh, could you elaborate about what increase efficiency? Um, for example, like the current technology can help us produce like well, let's say hundred kilograms of something, and then with like the new technology with innovation, we can like increase the efficiency. So okay. We can produce more. Yeah. So uh, resource efficiency. Okay, great. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, to create competitive advantage. Ah, that's it. What is competitive advantage? It's a difficult, yeah. difficult term, I guess. <laughs> oh, um, so competitive advantage is, for example, a winner of the business competition and you have something that's different or that's, um, yeah, that's different than the other, so that is your competitive advantage. Yeah, it's quite similar for uh, with, uh, uh, the duty about uh, to be to be uh, in front of uh, the opposite. Yes.
Yes. People that interact in the uh, in the subreaching uh, interact in the society can uh, benefit from uh, what uh, people do in innovation from the interpers innovation and needs from the inception of the business, from the startup uh, stage, from uh, developing a business, make it uh, uh, competitive when the uh, product is uh, come on decline to rejuvenate the business, etc. And then also uh, government, local government, national government, uh, supply chain, so on. So, Every uh, part of the supply chain is made into creation. So, how we can then uh, learn of how uh, people in different state of the life cycle use innovation? If you talk innovation used for uh, creating a wealth, getting a profit, Entrepreneurs use innovation in the first state of uh, organization life cycle to exploit a new market, to exploit opportunity. So they use uh, innovation and in that part for creating uh, awareness of from people that there is interesting, there is uh, important, and you should buy my product. So. Entrepreneurs, individual entrepreneurs in this uh, stage, the startup stage, use technology, use knowledge, uh, use a process of innovation to uh, make uh, market awareness of the product or the initiation. And innovation entrepreneurs also use in the uh, growth stage when people uh, think about adding new products. Adding new services, expands uh, to the new market, creating uh, new, uh, branches, etc. So, the implementation of uh, innovation is different uh, uh, from each stage of uh, the life cycle. But we uh, still need uh, innovation in the market. Like uh, in the for a state of uh, organizational life cycle. The organization life cycle said that the fourth state is a decline because the product is mature. If we do not make an innovation, then it will be decline. But we can renew the business by making an innovation. The same pattern is also uh, occurred in the uh, Creating social value, social objective uh, activities. In the social uh, organization, entrepreneurs use innovation in the first step of the life cycle, the startup. Uh, social entrepreneurs particularly concerned about how to improve something in the society, change some things. So the approach is quite different. For the profit oriented organization, uh, they try to introduce the product or the services so people can buy and uh, people aware about uh, the product and getting money. But in the uh, startup, instead of a social enterprise, it's uh, the innovation uh, of uh, social entrepreneurs is concerned about how to improve something uh, wrong in the society, how to make a uh, improvement of uh, how people uh, live, etc. And then uh, awareness uh, from people is uh, required and then uh, they can um, engage non, uh, other people to uh, have a more network so it becomes uh, some critical some mass movement. So the Thinks that innovation and entrepreneurship is applicable for not only profit organization but also social organization, but the implement implementation of the uh, innovation is different. And then there are four types of innovation. The first, the easiest 
things that we can look at is about program innovation. So everybody uses a uh, computer. Some use Windows, some use uh, other uh, software. Now you use Windows 10, is it right? Some still use Windows uh, 8. You use Windows, no? You, you use uh, Open Space? Uh, open Source? Windows 10. Windows 10. What is different between Windows 10 and Windows uh, 8? Do you see a significant difference? The appearance. But is there any incremental uh, change on that uh, version? Yes? Not really. Not really. So if you don't use it too often, it looks quite the same. Yeah? The, the business model changed drastically, that's So they don't sell any new uh, updates anymore. You get out of the previous life. Mm -hmm. And that will be kind of more like a mm -hmm. Apple approach. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, yes. This is an example of product innovation. Product innovation that uh, is incremental. Just add some uh, features, uh, a small uh, improvement, and update it. It also happened uh, in terms of uh, automotive. In Indonesia, uh, the population of uh, Toyota, particularly Kijan, is uh, enormous. So, uh, Indonesian uh, will uh, realize that there is also a product innovation of the series of Toyota Kijan. Yeah. Uh, probably some uh, of you uh, still experience using CD, DVD, <coughs> or even cassette. Thin. It's my time when you guys have things. But still, it's about storage. Improving the uh, size of the storage. It's innovation, but only incremental innovation. If you talk about innovation in the software, like Windows, it's, uh, there is a radical innovation when Windows introduced a speech recognition. Features. Do you expect to use uh, speech recognition features? Not yet. This is not only update, but he uh, put a new things. Like in Toyota case, about uh, Toyota, the radical innovation is uh, happened when Toyota introduced Toyota Prius as a hybrid car. So they change this the car, not only in uh, uh, modify the model, but the machines, uh, me the mechanism for for the machine is uh, different. It's changed. In Europe, uh, some of you will be familiar with Tesla. This is a radical innovation on, in the product. If we talk about music industry, we uh, not. Uh, use uh, CD anymore, but we are familiar with Spotify. Change about how we enjoy music. This is product innovation, radical product innovation. <coughs> so, in the product innovation, we can separate which approach, incremental or radical. But the thing is, we change the products, or we change the service. So the message is change here, change the product. It's clear. The second innovation is about process innovation. We do not change the product, but we improve the process to make more efficient, to reduce the error level, to serve better, like what happened in the uh, telecommunication system, they uh, reach the business to have more capacity so they uh, can reduce the costs. 
This is an incremental process innovation. But in the telecommunication business, there are radical innovation, there are radical process innovation. When people uh, communicate not using telephone anymore, fix London, but they use Skype. Same industry, but they uh, use different approach. Some use uh, incremental innovation, others use radical innovation. Yes. Yes, but incremental. It's also happened in the auction house. Christie's database, etc. They will really improve the way they uh, make an uh, auction process. But when people uh, talk about eBay, this is a radical innovation in the process of uh, bidding like an auction. So uh, we can innovate, we can change the product. And also, we can change the, the ways of our offerings, the ways of uh, uh, serving people or delivering the product. That's uh, called process limitation. I think all of you are quite familiar with these things. What is the third type of innovation? The third type is called position innovation. Do you familiar with Hagenas ice cream? Yes. yes. How often do you uh, buy Hagenas? Once a week? Once a month. Once a month? Okay. Do you know about the history of Hagenas? The history of Hagenas? Hagenas is ice cream for who? Children? Adult? Yes, now it's for adult. But initially, in the inception period, in the step up stage, Hagendas is targeted for children. And then they make a position innovation to change the segment to the adult. So innovation is not only talking about the product, not only talking about the process, but we can change the target market. It also uh, happened in the case of India, Indian uh, mobile manufacturer, Tata Nano. Do you know about uh, the manufacturer in India, Tata Nano? So what uh, they did, they tried to provide a small, cheapest car. They try to provide a small cigarette for whom? For people that cannot afford an ordinary car because they have limited budget. So the unserved segment, they try to tap unserved segment of an automotive in India. This is a radical place. And the uh, phenomenal uh, story on almost uh, business school uh, talking about airlines when we talk about uh, full service airlines that uh, have business class and economic class to separate the segment we, we uh, call it as a position innovation uh, process but still incremental but when some airlines dedicated the whole uh, seat for low uh, income uh, people for uh, low cost uh, uh, people, so it's called it radical innovation. So position innovation is talking about we change the segment of our market. We do not change the product, we do not change the uh, services, but we change uh, the people who uh, buy it, the people who consume our product. It's all Association innovation. The last one, the interesting one is about paradigm innovation. Paradigm innovation is talking about how we change our mental modes, how we change 
uh, our uh, metal mechanism. You learn about uh, IBM. IBM previously uh, known as a computer manufacturer. Now they realize that it's not work well because of competition, because of uh, new um, commerce uh, industry, and then change the product to be a service organization. That's also uh, happened in the Rolls Royce. Previously produced an uh, engine for airplanes, and now changed to uh, be a service company uh, for uh, providing power for others. If you have, a, uh, if you use contact lens, probably you're familiar with uh, Porsche now. Previously, the uh, Porsche they served as a high wheel, and now as a high wheel. In here, some of you using Linux, some of you using uh, Mozilla, uh, unpaid uh, software, etc. It's part of uh, how uh, people uh, make uh, innovation in the uh, Arida platform. Grameen Bank, a famous uh, example of how uh, Muhammad Yunus changed the paradigm. Bank, not for people having money but for people who don't have money is the paradigm innovation so to sum up there are model called innovation space innovation can happen in the product and the process and the position and the paradigm and can be done in the entrepreneurial level and incremental level or in the radical approach so, this is your choice. Make an innovation on which uh, approach. And the process, the product, and the uh, position, and the paradigm, having radical or incremental. Yes. Are you actually interested in the position of the incremental or the paradigm? Yes. The, uh, to difference the uh, position innovation uh, for uh, radical and incremental we can uh, uh, see from how different uh, the existing product with the new innovation so if we talk about airlines still you serve a different class is an incremental but if you change this is not for uh, full service it's incremental so the, we can we can differentiate from the uh, level of difference, even though sometimes it's debatable. But the more uh, it's different, the more it's radical. Yes. Okay. Well, now there is some example of Indonesian entrepreneurial works have you familiar with this not yet go to Indonesia uh, provide some uh, explanation to our base here this is Indomie Indomie is uh, Indonesian Noodle producers. The biggest, the biggest uh, instant noodle producers. Initiate in Indonesia but selling wrong. Aqua, some Aqua, that's one. Previously, uh, people uh, in 1980 something, uh, people okay because selling uh, mineral water we can we can just easily uh, find uh, mineral water but they start to make it and then you now become big company or even Alphamart in the market to monopolize uh, the uh, retail business yes. 
supermarket chains, mini market chains. Here, yeah. you guys Indonesia mengajar? Is there Indonesia? No, what Indonesia mengajar? Indonesia mengajar is a social enterprise to solve a problem of uh, people in the rural area getting education. So sending a student from the university for about one or uh, two months go to the rural area and teaching. And here, Rumah Zakat. Rumah Zakat is a social organization that collect uh, money from Muslim uh, citizen and distribute to uh, someone who need it. So, in Indonesia, the story of entrepreneurship, uh, there is a long story of uh, entrepreneurship activities in Indonesia. Some uh, going global, some still uh, playing in the role of it. But uh, if you uh, then live in Indonesia for probably one month, you will be well, more familiar with it. Restaurant Sederhana. Do you experience it pada pada misku? Restoran sederhana is famous because serving uh, standardized pada misku. Rendah. What else? Ayam pop. Ayam pop. What's ayam pop in English? Chicken pop. <laughs> Chicken pop. <laughs> so. Uh, Indonesia is uh, uh, have a, a, a huge variety of food and restaurant Padang is one uh, food chain that can standardize selling Padang food around Indonesia or even uh, abroad. It's part of. Go check, yes. Here. So in Indonesia, instead of soup is Asia, the there are seven unicorn four from Indonesia. Gojek, Tokopedia, Traveloka, Bukalapak. This a new uh, commerce and business part have a very rapid uh, growth to become unicorn. Utilize digital technology. And millennials like you, I think more familiar with this uh, company like the, the previous. Uh, okay. You just uh, go check? Yes. Ah. <laughs> what do you think? It's great. You can order massage and food. And oh! <laughs> Okay, so innovation is uh, important, you know, entrepreneurship is necessary for society and then we still, as a uh, developing uh, countries, we still have a problem. There are four main problems in Indonesia. The first one is unemployment. The second one is about renewable energy. The third one is about urbanization. The fourth one is about waste. Particularly plastic is in Indonesia is the second biggest plastic waste in the world after China. It's become a problem. You can see plastic waste is anywhere. <coughs> so I would like to invite you all here to think about genuine idea. Original business idea how to help Indonesian government to solve this problem. So, you will work in the groups talking about this issue, you say creative idea, innovative approach, how to manage this issue. It's good to show that you all. It's an innovative student. And it's the future enterprise. Agree? Okay. 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 Great. So
So, you have about one hour to discuss in the group. One hour. So it's not only not only idea. I expect that probably you can uh, uh, move forward into some social enterprise, creating something not only the product, explaining about new approach, new business models. That's it. So I hope that you have a bundle of uh, creative ideas, genuine ideas, and then try to uh, implement the idea into some things. Like what uh, Gojek did, They're talking about transportation problem and then thinking about how to solve and making it as a social entrepreneur. That's what I intend. <laughs> the rule of the discussion is the representative Helga, Eric, Praja, David cannot involve in the discussion. Cannot inform the discussion, but. He or she become an observer. No. What is the dynamic of the discussion? <laughs> and then he or she also should present how the process of the discussion, how the process of each generation, how the process of um, making uh, things happen in the groups. So later, after one hour, we have each group maximum uh, 50 minutes presentation, maximum about the idea and what you will propose and then for each observer they have a maximum 5 minutes presentation about the dynamic of uh, the discussion and later on we have a reflection on ok, uh, we still have 15 minutes left I just want to make a short uh, reflection from our learnings so First of all, about the process. If we if we frame this process of discussion using a uh, model from uh, 2050, I think all of you already conduct the first stage of innovation process. We call it recognition. In this States, typically, innovative organization or innovative groups or uh, innovative individual try to recognize what the problem is. In this uh, case, I already explained to you that we have uh, Indonesian uh, government have a plastic problem. And then, I also saw from the discussion that some of you <coughs> try to find the internet what the problem really is group number four said that or group number three uh, said that there are many data uh, try to to recognize what the problem is so i think uh, all of you already uh, did uh, quite well and the second is process of incubation I involved uh, the discussion in uh, the uh, first group and here there are many things uh, come up, uh, ideas, uh, comments, uh, sometimes challenge from, from the peers uh, about uh, how uh, the problem uh, can be solved and here also the dynamics is uh, uh, really great that uh, everybody talk, uh, uh, try to find a solution on the problem uh, some based on previous experience this. some uh, come from a, like an intuitive ways of thinking some also try to find uh, references from the internet or from the practices that already uh, take place in another uh, region so you also already did the second phase of uh, innovation project the rest, as I said before, we still have two stages the insight and validation or refinement stages in this stage, all of the ideas should be scrutinized 
in more detail probably invite uh, another people with different uh, have different perspective or probably invite expert in that field so uh, we can know uh, the feasibility of implementation of the ideas but overall you did very well we also realize that innovation is not easy to implement but literature suggests that innovation can easily uh, come by having supportive environment groups uh, declare here we did it by fun is it right we have no burden for finishing this even though we have a time limit but uh, innovation climate is necessary for speed up the process of innovation for increasing the possibility of success of innovation and the third is to be more effective in the innovation process organization groups need leaders that can give direction to to the work of uh, the group to to uh, control the uh, this discussion and uh, mechanism of uh, uh, making uh, innovation so i think uh, you already uh, did a process of innovation in the limited states and then uh, related to the idea there is a tools uh, uh, famous tool from christensen about the innovators dna the characteristic of uh, discover skill that uh, innovators should have the first one is about associating here this group associating the idea of what you call here vending machine with other practices of uh, coca-cola or other vending machine you mean association so 45% uh, of innovation come from this approach to make association with existing practices so by uh, having a lot of knowledge in other field we can make an association while we learn biology probably from that field we can import some things that can be implemented in the field of business like in the development of the theory if you learn about economic theory the neoclassic economic theory is come from engineer the economists is, uh, uh, have a background of engineer so they have a graphical explanation supply and demand equilibrium why? in the previous era economics uh, discussed by a sociological aspect but when importing with another uh, field associating with another practices we can have uh, new things innovation so uh, the skill for associating uh, things is necessary for someone who wants to be an innovator the second part is questioning why 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 is important I'm not uh, uh, so in uh, today's uh, simulation, but uh, it is uh, necessary for us to ask, uh, particularly for incremental innovation, to improve the product, to improve the services, to improve the process. We should ask: Is there any uh, other so, uh, uh, and is there any other tools to improve the uh, process? Is there any other view to uh, solve the problem as well? So. Uh, questioning is another thing that uh, innovators should uh, develop. The third is observing. This group, uh, the first group, the second group, and the rest, I guess, use these things, use these uh, steps. Observing from the uh, Austrian perspective and bring here. So, it is important for innovators to have a broad uh, point of view so they can make it uh, easy to uh, come up with a new idea when uh, they face a new uh, context so observing is important 
So, and the fork is experimenting. Try to find a new formula. Try to find a new ways of thing. Uh, making a simulation uh, uh, and then uh, focusing on uh, uh, prototyping research and engineering as a result. But I I I cannot find in uh, the discussion today. But it's okay. And then the last one is about networking. We did it very well by having a heterogeneous groups here, yeah, you can learn a lot from each other so I think a class like International Summer Week is necessary for us to build up innovation not only for Indonesian side but also for Australian side that's why the topic today is innovation thank you very much